Hello and welcome everyone. So in this video, we'll take a look at another concept that was requested and that is infinite originating stamina. So this concept, uh, just to give an overview, is applied into games like Dark Souls and Sekiro. And then there was the game Nya, 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 whatever the name is. Okay. So basically, the, just to demonstrate, the concept is that when you start attacking, your stamina is depleting. And after a certain delay, the stamina regenerates back up. Okay. So I cannot attack when my stamina is zero. And once it's regenerated, I can attack. Okay. So we're covering this concept in this video. Okay. So just to mention that I am using gas associate for this project and the version is 1.2.2 right now for the project, but uh, over here it's updated to 1.3. And you can use this plugin to quick start your gameplay with system or you can follow along with the tutorial series that I have on my channel. Okay. Okay. So just to give an overview, I have set up quite a few things before the video and they are just basic things. I'll just walk you over them. Okay. So on my left mouse button, I'm activating an ability called primary attack. Okay. And I have this apply mana region that we're going to populate with our gameplay effect that we'll be creating for infinite regeneration of mana okay now this is going to be an important step that i want to cover actually in this video okay so i have this uh, combo system from the default paragon class you can modify it according to your own needs but i have set it up to be triggered from the ability okay using an interface call and inside of the primary attack ga class okay I have this interface and it just calls this and the important thing to note is that we have this commit ability okay what it basically does is that if you see over here I have this cost gameplay effect class that is causing costing some stamina from the uh, attacks okay so if we do not have this cost we won't be able to activate this ability rather we're going to just simply end this ability if we do not have this cost okay and we have this cost right now it's costing mana because right now i don't have any attribute for stamina so i'm just reusing mana for the value okay so it's decreasing negative 20 on each hit each attack basically okay so what we want to do is create a gameplay effect that is going to be applied to us on the begin play and we're going to populate this class over here if you see over here I've called this activate mana region on begin play. Okay. So we'll be creating this special kind of gameplay effect in this video. Okay. So let's go ahead to our folder. I have already this region folder. We just start from scratch and just call this gameplay effect. Okay. And I call this G underscore infinite stamina. Okay. Now once this is open, I'm going to just save this, close this and open it again. So open up like this. Now this is going to be an infinite duration gameplay effect. Like it's going to be applied all the time. We are going to handle the blocking a little bit later. But for now just understand this is going to be applied all the time to the character. Okay. And for the period right now I'm just going to change this to 1 because we'll be changing this later on. I just want to show you something. Okay. And for the modifiers, what I want to do is just simply say you're going to modify my mana by adding a value of 10. Okay. We have done this. Now we're going to just test it by inserting it over here. Just select this from here and press this button. Okay. So what happens now is if I start attacking, you can see my stamina is increasing gradually by value of 10 every second. Okay. So just to fix this kind of lag inside of the refill of the stamina to make it more smooth for the user interface, what I'm going to do is just actually change this to like 0.01, okay? So the tick duration is like 0.01 of a second, okay? And, and similarly, I'm going to just decrease this value to 1 because like every 0.01 second is going to be increasing 10, that's way too much, okay? So just change this value as well. Now we test it out, you see the stamina is increasing really smoothly, okay? Well, it's too much, but uh, you get the idea, okay? So now what you want to do is that once I am activating this ability, I want to lock this gameplay effect somehow. And once I'm done with this ability, or there's a gap between the activation of this ability, I want to resume this gameplay effect, okay? 
the way we are going to do this is going to our infinite stamina we have this uh, online tag requirements over here okay so these tags will be present only then this gameplay effect will be applied and on the ignore tags if any of these tags is present this effect is going to be blocked okay so we are going to use a gameplay tag over here i have already created a gameplay tag in advance and it's called character.ability.manaregen.block okay and we set this one over here compile and save this and back inside the character class what i want to do is after this ability activation i'm going to say add loose gameplay tag and it's going to be this one okay and i'm just going to use this same gameplay tag after this what i want to do is say pre-triggerable delay okay so this delay is reset once this exact node is fired exact pin is fired okay i'm going to give this a delay of five seconds so after five seconds of not attacking i'm going to remove this gameplay tag okay so it's drag it from here and say remove loose gameplay tag okay and this is going to be this one okay so now what should happen is that once i start attacking i cannot regenerate my stamina and after a second delay of five seconds it's going to regenerate okay so uh, interesting thing to note over here is that you can control this delay via another kind of gameplay effect so for example right now i have attack power i think so i can say get attack power okay so like uh, this is an attribute that i have so instead of attack power you can say stamina regen delay or something like that so you can handle these kind of attribute based on the ability level and that kind of stuff okay so hopefully this clears up any misconceptions around the infinite kind of gameplay effects and you'll be able to understand these better so let me know if you have any more requests and i'll try my best to get them up as soon as possible okay so this is it for this video thank you very much